uh, just for fun, not changing any planes unless uh, Escadra R is planning to do so. So if that same is coming out from Escadra R, we will be going on the way with the third match quickly. Also, as a small heads up for you guys, uh, when this first semi-final is over, we'll be taking a 15 15 minute break before we go on with semi-final two. So because that was uh, the first semi-final is well, the one that loses in this battle we have to go into the next match instantly without having the time to recap what just happened and um, yeah evaluate why they lost and try to improve their tactics. So I'll just confirm if there is a change of planes. And if the, they are ready. Both teams appeared. We are not in the room. Ah, yes. Just saw the just for fun team one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now we're just waiting for it just for fun to be ready and then we can go on the way with the third match in this best of five, the first semi final. Both teams are ready, then we will go on the way with the third battle in more or less ten seconds. So just for fun, for now leading with two zero once with a very com well with a convincing air superiority win and once with a ground superiority win let's see what they will come up with for their third battle so actually just for fun beating Escadra R at their own game because they did pretty much the similar thing as Escadra A tried to do in the first match which didn't work out for them and just for fun did almost the exact same thing in the second match and did win with it so a bit of a disc coming out there you might want to say no change of planes yet again so Escadra has to come up with a new plan very very quickly or else execute the plan they already had in mind a bit better than previous times and it would look like it that they will go straight for the just for fun base no climbing being done almost mosquito staying low focke wolf staying relatively low uh, tommy crash is climbing quite a bit though duncan also not getting that high fou1 also not getting that high and on the left side we have Kluskov, so it would appear the P-51As go for high altitude very likely without any rockets, just counting and whilst the rest of the Escadra R team will perform some ground attack on the Just for Fun base and no targets being destroyed by Just for Fun yet possibly they expect Escadra R to go to their base and try to intercept them. Jerry here is taking out the first warship, leaving it at 100 HP. I would say that is planned. Two bombs coming out from the Mosquito. Headquarters taken out and the warship taken out. Plus, Jerry is only left at 78 health. That is not much. I. I find it hard to believe that that would be just because of AA fire. Possibly he flew inside the uh, bomb blast radius of Ekken 6's bombs on the enemy headquarters whilst just for fun has started to take out ground targets or rather Ottenheimer 
has started to take out ground targets in this area. He has taken out three ground targets as we speak and Kluskov is on his way to find him. So for the moment the Spremis Elite going for Eskadra A but just for fun catching up quickly. And Kluskov now realizing with the amount of ground targets being taken out we fight a lot of enemy just for fun players in that area. So he's gonna wanna play it safe. If he gets spotted or if he gets engaged upon he's gonna try to uh, to perform as a decoy for the rest of his team and lead the just for fun players to the rest of his team. So far no spots going out by the looks of it Bonewish, Ottenheimer and Grolim are gonna attacking and hence Rieger the spot shortly going out there but immediately disappeared again. Was Grolium has suddenly appeared only 700 meters away from Kluskov and that is within firing range. Kluskov now being engaged from by Grolim whilst he makes sure that Grolim will have to decrease altitude more and more and more whilst he flies them into the rest of his team and there we have Jerry coming but he's only at 78 health. Hence Krieger and both both hands Krieger and Grolin giving up the chase on Kluskov who is now turning around on him firing a hail of bullets into him whilst Duncan and Kluskov get a lot of just for fun members on him quickly taken out well coordination there by just for fun another one going down now it's only Satura left in a 1v4 situation and he is being taken out by hands Krieger Ottenheimer gets the credit for it which means that there's only Ekken left alive with 8 points down on Supremacy just for fun clearly taking this game home as well go with a 3-0 victory to become the first finalist in this Doge Fighter edition and a well played going, TG's a well played going out from both teams whilst Ekken 6 gets taken out Christerman takes the honour before we go on with the next semi-final which will be played between Escadra A and Iron Eagles we'll be taking a 15 minute break to give the guys of Escadra A a bit of time to reevaluate what just happened and um, go to the toilet etc just to take a little breath and uh, we'll be back with you in about 15 minutes with the second semi-final of this evening again best of five again Lighthouse Iron Eagles against Escadra A